everybody. Welcome back to another week. Uh, two weeks to go until winter break, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, this week on Monday, we have MSLT after school. We'll be looking at some STAR information as well as some information that LIT has been working on. can share that out with you after that. Um, just so you know, so you're aware, uh, MSLT will be looking at trying to find ways for all staff to be very, very comfortable looking at STAR data and knowing how to use it, how to get reports, and so on and so forth. So that's what we're going to look at tomorrow night, uh, or Monday night, I should say. Uh, Tuesday, during the day, we've got a lot of staff out of the building. It is the second date of the uh, Wisconsin Assessment Consortium training, uh, so we've got a lot of staff that will be out of the building, so please welcome and support any guest teachers that are here. And on Wednesday morning, uh, KK and Jen Parker will be leading us in a breakfast club. Uh, that is focusing on writing and literacy. So please come down to the large group room on Wednesday morning during your morning prep. Active educator, uh, Bill and Kim and I are in the process of doing the actual observations, the announced observations with our three pilot teachers, Greg Gores, Dave O'Keefe, and Greg Vandehey. Uh, so we're working through that process in January at our staff meeting. We'll probably report out uh, again kind of where that's at and what to expect and so on. Also with this video, I will be sending you the link to the uh, the state SLO form. Um, you might want to take a look at that. I also put that on the, the um, PLC document for the month. Uh, take a look at that form and uh, apply your SMART goal to it and just see if you can start getting the SMART goal format to fit into the SLO format. You probably won't find a whole lot of issues with it depending on how your, your goal is written, but it is something that's worth taking a look at. And we'll be spending again most of the second semester looking at Effective Educator and the Charlotte Danielson model. A reminder that PTO is donating a whole bunch of money to us because of a successful magazine sales fundraiser here this fall. Uh, so please fill out the uh, PTO wish list uh, form survey. Um, I'll send that out again with this video tonight, Sunday night. Um, do make sure you get that filled out by the end of December. Um, by the time we leave on the 20th, please fill that out so I can get that all put together for PTO to take a look. Not many people have put in yet, so there's plenty of money available. So please uh, remember, fill out the PTO wish list survey. All right, and it goes without saying that we everybody knows just how stretched everyone is here this year in the educational environment that we're in right now. Uh, we recognize that uh, many of you are being stretched between PLC time with your content uh, teachers uh, as well as your academic team meeting time. Um, and we want to make sure that you're in the process of juggling your time, uh, that you're doing it as efficiently as possible. Uh, Bill, Kim, and I are working on a way um, to make the team meetings and so on, PLC meetings, um, as agenda-driven as possible. Um, that will hopefully allow us to get done with all the business that needs to get done um, and then give you back time um, to get other business done, um, planning, and so on and so forth. So um, our goal is to work on that from now until winter break, and then in January we should have some ideas to start sharing out um, and some processes that hopefully will make things a lot easier for you. Last but not least this week, I do want to share a video that a staff member sent to me. Um, I'll have it linked with this video um, in the email that I send. Um, I tell you, I, it brought a tear to my eye, seriously, a uh, tear to my eye when I watched it. Um, you know, really, I'll just ask you the question, did you know that uh, uh, fighting at Normandy uh, in World War II was actually harder than not knowing how to read? Um, please watch the video, uh, the link that we send you here. Um, very, very powerful story about why literacy and why reading instruction is so important across all content areas. So please take a look at that. That's it for the news this week. We'll see you in the hallways.